The first step in search is finding everything. How do we find everything online? There are billions of websites and probably tens of billions of web pages. And the first challenge for any search engine is just finding the internet. Luckily, we use the internet's very structure in order to solve this problem. The piece of software that's used to find the internet is sometimes known as a web crawler. And you'll see why in a second. So how does a web crawler work? Okay, so I need to start somewhere. And so I can start with a certain set of web pages, but let's just imagine that I start with one web page. Okay, and that, that is an input to the web crawler. So you have to give the web crawler somewhere to start. Without a single page, it has no starting point. So let's say I start at, um, I don't know, let's say, let's, say, let's say that I start at our department's homepage, cse.buffalo.edu. So that's my starting point. And what the web crawler does is it goes to that page, it fetches the contents, and it looks for every link on that page. And most web pages contain 1, 10, 20, 100 different links. And so what will happen is, so this is you know, a stage that you can think about steps in this algorithm. This is step zero. I start with a web page. And in step one, I have a bunch of other links. So let's say, I don't, know, I want to, I don't want to write the links out, but at this point I might have 100 links. So I started with one page and I found all of the, the different links that that page went to. And now in the second stage, all I do, so now I have a bunch of web pages. I've discovered a bunch of web pages. I started with one page and I've discovered like 50 more pages. So now in the second step, all I do is I go to all those web pages and I do the same thing. I find all the links on them and I go to all of those pages. Now, some of these pages might be duplicates. So a bunch of uh, pages might link to the same page and that's okay. You know, I keep track of that as I go along. So, you know, I don't need to visit pages more than once. Um, but the idea is if I started a particular point, I will eventually branch out and hopefully at every stage I'll have more and more pages to look at, I'll have more and more pages that link to other pages, and eventually, if I run this algorithm for a long, long period of time, I have the entire internet, right? The whole thing. Um, now, does this work in practice? It's a good question. I'm not sure if you started at www.csc.buffalo.edu, you would necessarily get to every page on Earth. You might. It might, it might be interesting to find out. Um, some, so what will happen here too, I mean, you might get to pages that are dead ends, right? So this page, page may not have any links on it, and that's okay. I just found that page. That was good. That page didn't give me any new leads of anywhere else to go, but that's not a problem because lots of the other pages I found did. So I suspect that real web crawlers probably have, you know, um, so in the second step, I might have 100,000 links to follow, and the third step maybe. So if each page, let's say, if each page has 100 links on it, right? In the se in the second step, I have 100, then I have 10,000, you know, and then I have a million, right? So you can see how this goes. In just a couple of steps, I found a million pages. That's pretty good. I suspect that most web crawlers probably start at a bunch of different points just to make sure that they might find things. So if I started Google.com, maybe I'd find certain things. If I started the you know, Washington Post website, I might find other things. So I might choose a bunch of different starting points to try to make sure that I get everywhere. But this is the principle behind web crawling. And it's really helpful that we have these linked structures because links on the page are what allow the web crawler to find other pages. So again, just to review the algorithm, I start with one page, find all the links on that page and then visit all those links, find all the links on those pages, visit all those pages and just keep on going. Um, along the way, I try to eliminate duplicates so I don't visit the same page a bunch of times because once I visited that page, I know all the links it has on it. Um, but if I repeat this process and if I choose a couple of good starting points, I should be able to discover every page online or almost every page.